Today's video is going to be breaking down how to beat zone defense in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and yesterday we talked a little bit about beating man-to-man -man defense from the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook. This is our Scheme of the Week series. We talked the first day about the gun empty bunch, and we talked yesterday about the shotgun tight offset tight end. Today we're going to be talking about the bunch open offset to beat some zone coverage, and the play we're going to be utilizing to do this is the play flood. Uh, what we like about this play is we have a corner, a streak, and a flat, and this going to be really a really nice combination of routes here. Uh, what we want to do with this play is we want to take Jonathan Stewart, we're going to place him on a streak. He's going to be a pressure release. If they're in a zone blitz, this is where we're going to go with the football. The next thing we like to do is we like to take Jericho Cotri. We're going to place him on a smart route. We're going to smart route his corner route. So it's going to go 10 yards and then break to the outside. And what we're going to see here is we're going to first start against the basic cover three. He's going to be the main route we're going to target. As you can see, we're going to pass lead that to the right, and he's going to get a nice animation to go catch the football. No high pass lead here, just a small, just, just a regular pass, just a regular bullet pass to the outside. Um, next coverage I want to show you is the coverage cover two. What you're going to see here is the flat is still going to hold that route down, and now you can see we're going to be able to easily fit that route into Kotri because the streak is going to run off those deep zones and allow a window to fit that football in. The next thing I want to show is cover four, and what you're going to see here is the same exact result. The uh, corner and Jared Allen, and for some reason, practice plays possessed. But what you're going to see here in the cover four is um, that you that this route to Cotri again, same kind of result, passing that to the outside. Uh, and that's where you want to kind of start utilizing those high pass leads. When you face things like that, deeper breaking coverage, and we'll show you that high pass lead real quick here. Um, because what it's going to do, it's going to keep that corner out of the play. And there you see the high pass lead keeps that corner out of the play. R1 holds him down, and there you see it. And then we'll also show you cover six. You're going to get the same exact result. What you're going to see here, just pass lead it to the right, high pass lead, and you're going to get a nice animation right in the teeth of the zone defense. A nice clear out play. So that's really what we've got for you. That's really all I wanted to show you, honestly. Um, what you can do off this is you can take Brown, put him on a drag, motion Stewart over, put him on a streak, and now you're going to have uh, some safety check down routes as well, as well as the uh, as well as the basic route that we were utilizing. Uh, one thing you could also try doing is taking Greg Olson, putting him on a hitch pattern. What this is going to do is it's going to provide you with a man beater on that side of the field. You should still be able to use this against zone. As you can see, though, he's kind of become your read. Hitch routes, for some reason, they fade away from them. I think it's primarily because they're just a shorter route. What you're going to see here is that it gets cover three coverage. Um, they're going to actually fade away from Greg Olson, and you're going to be able to fit this into him for a quick four or five yards. So if you want a quick read, I would recommend putting Olson on a fade or on a uh, hitch pattern. If you're struggling to blitz and you also want to beat man to man, you're going to see this can be uh, pressure as well. If you're if you're wanting to uh, have a late read, then I recommend him on a flat here against the cover two. They're just going to drop away, and um, well, it didn't really quite work out as well as I wanted it to that time. But when he's on that flat, they're going to uh, they're gonna they're gonna suck down. So here we'll show you again. Here's the cover three. He's on a flat and they suck down and Cam Newton makes a terrible throw. But but as you you can see, hopefully the the read, the process, the idea behind what we're doing here, the streak to Jonathan Stewart really helps everything else out because he's gonna actually threaten the middle of the field. Whereas we're having a strong flood to the right, we now actually have a threat in the middle of the field for them to have to worry about. And um, it will actually uh, pay dividends when we go to using those hitch patterns to Olsen. You see they're going to have to pay attention to Stewart. It's going to clear out and allow Olsen that op open opportunity for you guys. So that's how we like to beat zone coverage from this. Uh, if you guys have any questions or didn't understand something that I said, uh, don't hesitate to ask me a question in the comment section. Uh, but also, guys, if you could do me one favor, just hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, we bring you daily Madden schemes, daily Madden strategies. So uh, if you are interested in something like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, guys, leave me some questions so that I can answer them and get back with you. Thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to check out our offensive and defensive eBooks. They drop m next Monday. Uh, and can't wait to break that down for you guys. So we'll see you guys then. Uh, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with...